Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what I want to show you is my updated lineup. I know you guys like to see these videos. So I'm going to show you what I've currently got working for me in Madden Ultimate Team. So let's take a look here. So updated lineup currently on offense. We have made some differences here. Uh, obviously Barry Sanders is gone. And I know you guys are going to be a little bit upset about that. But hey, look at the coins. 2.8 million coins. I can't really complain. Uh, I'm doing pretty well on coins at the moment, so I can't really complain too much. Um, obviously, we're still sticking here with the all Ultimate Legend offensive line. I don't think that's really going to be changing. Mike Ditka at tight end with Greg Olson at backup tight end. Now, at wide receiver, we still have Calvin Johnson and Julio Jones starting, but our wide receiver two is now Larry Fitzgerald. This is Ultimate Legend Larry Fitzgerald. We got this recently, and this is a card that I think we can definitely make some big plays with. Um, I mean, obviously, he's got great attributes. Frankly, he's probably better than Calvin Johnson. The only real advantage that Calvin has, has excuse me, is that route running as well as the height. So other than that, Larry Fitzgerald's pretty much better in just about every attribute. Uh, then I'm also actually rocking this brand new Calvin Johnson card. Well, I shouldn't say it's brand new. Brand new to me, uh, Calvin Benjamin, excuse me, six foot five, all rookie. Um, he had a big year this year as his, uh, or this past year, I should say, as a rookie. So it's nice to have this card. He's also six foot five, so it's great to have him uh, for those plays when Calvin Johnson gets hurt or if he's uh, tired or anything on the drive. It's great to have Kel Kelvin Benjamin to be able to step in and kind of be that tall six foot five guy that I need near the goal line. Uh, now, the rest of the players here, obviously, we're still going with Marshawn Lynch. This Bruce Miller is going back to the guy who borrowed it to me. Um, I haven't been able to get a hold of him yet, but uh, obviously, I'm waiting for him to get a hold of me so that I can give him back this card. Uh, so when that happens, we're going to go back to Franco Harris as our fullback, I think. Uh, Nate Soldier might get in there every once in a while. Uh, currently, Marshawn Lynch is our starting running back with Franco Harris as the backup, but I will be moving over here to uh, a Jeremy Hill or a Todd Gurley uh, as my backup running back. I haven't really decided which way I want to go with that at the moment but uh, both those cards are pretty decent for a backup running back so that's totally fine with me now defensively we're pretty much in the same situation that we were before uh, as far as linebackers and safeties go. Jack Ham, Keekley, Ware, and then also Ronnie Lott and Eric Weddle at the safety positions. Our defensive line is totally the same as it has been, but our cornerbacks are a little bit changed here. So I used to use Charles Till, or I used to use, um, excuse me, Chris Harris and Joe Hayden, and now I am using Charles Tillman Movers and Altron Werner, the throwback Madden 25 card. And the reason for it is because both of these cards have upgraded catching and they're also better in zone coverage than those were. So um, I'm a big fan of this Charles Tillman. It actually has underrated attributes. If you go in here and take a look at some of these things here, uh, his catching at 85 is excellent. Obviously it's comparable to the uh, Devontae Davis, which is one of the better cornerbacks in the game. Uh, and then also if you look at uh, any of these other, if you look at the uh, Altron Werner card, similar type of thing. Uh, where he's got decent catching as well at an 84. So um, I'm, I'm a big fan right now of um, of using these cornerbacks that are decent in coverage uh, but have good catching because I have seen so many dropped picks by my team. So I'm hoping that we will get a little bit of an upgrade. And then if you like, if you just compare it to the Chris Harris real quickly here, um, it's just it's better in most attributes to be honest with you. Um, let's go down here. I think uh, yeah, man coverage, zone coverage. That's really what I'm looking at. He's only one worse in zone coverage play recognition is a little bit higher um, and his speed is a little bit lower but he's got higher acceleration better awareness uh, so I think things like that will help make up for the fact that he's just a little bit slower um, and, and you know the zone coverage to me it, it's it's somewhat important but the fact that it's only one difference to me isn't that big of a deal but that 11 increase in catching is going to be huge at some point that's going to come into play so hopefully we can end up making big plays with Werner and our guy Charles Tillman. So those are our main cornerbacks right now. Those are the top four. And then I've still got Chris Harris playing the cornerback five position in those uh, quarter situations. So that's what we're working with, guys, going forward. I know people are going to be disappointed that I got rid of Barry Sanders, but to be honest with you, like Barry Sanders was such a sick card. But to me, to be able to do some pink slips games for you guys and be able to use some good cards in pink slips, I mean, we're talking that I'll be using cards that are like 100,000 to 200,000 going forward on pink slips. So I think that'll be pretty cool for you guys. If you want me to go back and buy Barry Sanders, I guess I can. Leave that in the comment section below, but I kind of think everybody will have more fun if I'm playing uh, and playing a little bit higher wagers for you guys on the channel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and of course, don't be afraid to go over to twitch.tv 
follow me on there as well so that you can know when we go live for pink slips and that'll be your way that you can get into the chat and converse with me and uh, participate in the stream of course but also participate in pink slips that's the big thing for most people as i stream so uh, i will be streaming today which is sunday at some point i'll let you guys know when might be later in the evening i'm supposed to do a couple different things during the day so i might have to make time to uh, stream later in the evening but i will definitely be streaming be sure to follow me on twitter so that you know when i go live as well as obviously on twitch you'll get that email update when we go live so thank you guys so much for all the support hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to hit that like button and i will talk to you guys again soon